I never thought I'd be saying this about the Golden Crook boss, but in the entire year that I've been playing TDS, I've never had a crazier game than this one. Somehow, 48 Golden Crook bosses versus the entire Fallen mode lags more than the military base. Now, I have to warn you, what I'm about to show you should not be tried at home. This strategy has been classified by the Department of Homeland Security as major cringe, and I'm sad to say that multiple people that tried to help with this video didn't make it. Now the report's still out on exactly what happened to them. Maybe their computer imploded from the lag, maybe they died of boredom, or maybe they just went completely insane. All three outcomes are entirely possible. Alright, now I'm gonna do something I've never done before. I'm gonna give a shout out at the beginning of the video to the brave heroes that sacrificed their youth to help me make this video. And this is both for those that made it and those that didn't. Because this challenge was so bad, I almost didn't make it either. Here are the people that survived all the way to the end. Adrian Piagera, Ask Carlo, Mortals Unleashed, Oreo Kraz, and Synax Blocks YT. And here are our fallen brethren, Mad Ratza, and DGA20008. If you see either one of these people in public, please call the proper authorities because they haven't been seen since they left this game and their parents are worried sick. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna get into the meat and potatoes of this thing. First off, this video has not been edited for time. This is the entire game. I sped it up by 300% and it's still an hour. That means we played for three hours. And I'm gonna be real with you guys. We got so sick of waiting to win this game, I went ahead and put down 10 max level rangers and someone else placed down a couple of golden mini gunners just to speed up the inevitable. Now what you're gonna see is that when every player places max crook bosses, which is six per player, enough mafia members spawn to completely stop the game. I didn't know this. I'd heard that crook bosses could lag the game, but I assumed it would lag in the same way that the military bases lagged. Like, things would move slowly, but they'd still move. No, that isn't what happens here. You're gonna see everything completely stop. So the mafias spawn in at the base, but they don't really move, and the zombies spawn in at the start, but they don't really move. Now, this might sound awesome. I mean, if they're not moving, then they're gonna be easy to kill, right? Uh, yeah, that's true, but the problem is that the freaking summoner bosses just keep summoning. So we end up with this huge mass of zombies that takes forever to kill. Initially, the way we solved this problem was to set the targeting on our towers to strongest so that they'd only attack the Fallen King. The crazy thing is, this works until the Fallen King's health falls below the health of the other zombies around it, like the Fallen Guardians, which spawn with 14,000 health. And this is the drawback to setting the targeting to strongest. Once the Fallen King gets weaker than the other enemies, there's no longer a way to focus on him. You can't do first because he's not first. You can't do closest because he's not the closest enemy to every tower, and he can't do strongest because he's not the strongest anymore. We ended up spending more than an hour just focusing on the Fallen King to get his health down from 210,000 to 14,000. Then we spent another 30 minutes for him to get from 14,000 to 7,000. At that point, the towers are basically attacking all the zombies evenly because we still have their targeting set the strongest, and people are literally going insane, especially Synax and Carlo because they've been chaining call to arms for the entire time. I mean, just imagine chaining call to arms for three hours. I could barely do it for one game, which is like 25 minutes. So they're the real heroes of this video, because if they hadn't done that, this game would have taken at least twice as long. In the beginning, it takes us about 30 minutes to get to wave 40. Because I have this video running at three times the speed, you're going to see that happen at about the nine minute mark. The entire rest of this video is just wave 40. So now do you understand why I placed Rangers at the end? It just became obvious obvious that, yeah, we could win using only Golden Crook bosses plus support, but it probably would have taken, I'd say, four to five hours. And I just didn't want to ask my teammates to play for that long. Once all the enemies were at 7,000 health, I knew the Rangers could help finish them off so that we could end this nightmare and maintain what little bit of sanity we had left. Let me know in the comments what you think about this decision. I think what really matters is that we beat the game, proving once and for all that the Golden Crook boss is good enough to win on its own even though lagging is kind of cheating. All right, now I know what some of you guys are thinking. Awesome, Harrison. Now go kill the nuclear fallen king with only golden crook bosses. And to that, I'd have to say, are you crazy? That guy has five times as much health as the fallen king. There is no way I'm putting myself through that cruel and unusual punishment. But what I might do is use only golden crook bosses for every wave before wave 40, just so you guys can see how they handle the polluted wasteland enemies like amalgamation. And then when everything 
everything is lagging on the final wave, I place Max Rangers because as you guys already know, Max Rangers can take down that weak nuclear Fallen King even without the lag. And you know what? I've never had a like goal on a video before, so let's say if this video can get 2,000 likes, I'll make the polluted wasteland version of this challenge. Alright, and the last thing this game has me thinking about is can this challenge be done with normal crook bosses? I'd assume so since the mafias would lag the game in the same way, and the stats for the golden crook boss aren't that much better than the regular version. It's just 60 DPS for golden compared to 46.67 for regular, so I'd say yeah, you could do this with regular crook bosses, but why? Do not try this at home. I'm begging you. I don't want my fans to die of boredom. So just to wrap this up, Golden Crook Boss actually handles every single enemy better than I thought it would. It shreds the shadow bosses and it does really well against the tank. Of course, we also use Freezer and Electroshocker to slow the talk down, so that helped. Now be sure to watch this video all the way to the end to see pain and I'll meet you right back here in an hour.
Yes, it's over. It's finally over. You know what's funny about this challenge is that if I'd brought the commander, I wouldn't have even needed the other players to stay. They could have just placed down their max level crook bosses and left while I stayed to chain call the arms. But then I would have gotten so lonely. So it's good that I had some company. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button with your forehead, hit that subscribe button with your big toe, and turn on notifications however you can so you don't miss any of my amazing upcoming content. And while you're at it, go ahead and join my growing Discord community. We are about to hit 10 thousand members in there. You don't want to have to explain to your grandchildren why you didn't join Just Harrison's Discord server until after he hit 10,000 members. I'm trying to do you a favor here by letting you know how to avoid the biggest mistake of your life. You can join by going to discord.gg slash Just Harrison things. And I will see you guys next time. Take care, be safe, and never forget what I always say. Peace!